Hello and welcome to a video with my Turbo Lambo. This is some footage from uh, this past summer when I was working a little bit with the car and went to an airstrip event where I filmed my car and some other cars driving. Nice airstrip here for today's event. But uh, let's go back a little bit in the garage before uh, I went here a couple of days, two days ago maybe. I took the side skirt here of the car and this one is not looking nice. And here is the damage from that small tree. So yeah, uh, I think I will replace this one in the future. And this side panel, it's damaged as well. Uh, maybe I do something, uh, clean this up a little bit so I can drive it this summer and uh, try to replace this a little bit later on. Poor carbon fiber. I made a startup of this one and have a, had a little short drive and uh, made all the fluids hot because I'm doing a little bit service here. Uh, taking the oil out and putting in some new motor oil as usual. A uh, new filter, by the way, if Mutol wants to sponsor me, please <laughs> help me. Um, can get some fluid, some, that would be great to have a good sponsor on uh, my cars. And much better this one, it's actually only yeah two drains, one for oil tank and one uh, is the hose here, which is the return hose uh, where I drain the oil and um, also the oil filter. So much better than the R8 for the oil service there. I will uh, change out the lambda sensors here and I have this uh, MOTEC NTK um, lambda to can module here and I had some problem with this during the years. I had it for many years now. One channel died, it's a dual, left and right bank. I put in another new uh, module here for the LSU 4.9. Uh, so yeah, that one instead and some uh, regular Bosch sensors instead. This NTK sensor should be really good and are more expensive, but uh, yeah, 4.9 Bosch is all fine for this application actually. Like with all cats, I think uh, some is going to the dark side. This one, the black cat, Sigvard, he's a little bit broken, so I think he's finished on the Lamborghini. I'm so sad. Bye bye, buddy. You had some fun time here in the engine bay. Maybe there will be a new one someday. On my way here, um, rainy. I washed the car yesterday, thank you for that. And uh, yeah, on my way here. And uh, one bad thing with the um, Gallardo here is I don't have a cup holder. This is a little bit risky business to have the coffee here. Um, see if I can place a cup holder somewhere. That's maybe why the Italians do not put cup holders in uh, normal Lamborghinis. I know the new uh, Huracans you can get the cup holder on this side. It was raining a lot here in Eskilstuna so I turned in and uh, for some E85 aquaplaning a couple of times. These R tires is not the best in the wet and uh, I see the um, rain is going away a little bit now so yeah let's go. Hopefully it will uh, be no rain or there will be some dry weather so we can race some today. I'm here at uh, Malmbu. It's also a drifting track here usually. And um, we're gonna do the half mile racing today. 804meters.com is the address for this one. A cool event here in Sweden. They have several races over the year and I think they are pretty new pretty new here. I'm getting here, hopefully it will dry up so we can get some traction. Some other cars, I can see F12 Ferrari and Sheepy Race R8 Twin Turbo, four wheel drive. Supra, there's some Corvettes and uh, yeah, some different cars, Tesla. It'll be interesting to see this one. Uh, Baltic Blue Supra here. 
left turn drive. I think 244 for now, kilometers an hour. Second pass here now, 295 there on the half mile. Would be nice to go 300 uh, kilometers per hour. Here you see the shifts. You see the shifts dropping a lot. But uh, up on 1G there for some time. So it's cool. Fastest car of the day so far is this R8. It's a uh, cheapy turbo kit here. The cheap intercoolers, 329 kilometers per hour for this one so far. So yeah, it's really hauling. Last time he had uh, 322, I think, and um, with the smaller tires. So now with the bigger tires, it made a couple of um, kilometers. It has a Dodson clutch in this one. Pretty same specifications as my car. Same color. We have the intercooler tank here in the front. They put a little bit of ice in it uh, before the runs. Okay, here we can see the cheapy water cooler as well in the front. I really like this interior with the carbon fiber. We have the owner here, Alex, um, of the R8 329. Do you think you can do a 330? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Are you doing any changes? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to shift better and um, see what we get. Okay, good. Yeah. Are you are you doing manual shifting or is yeah, it auto, auto yeah. shift? Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I think cool. I should try auto shift. Okay, so you have that uh, future in the car. Yeah, we hope for the best and um, very nice car you have. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Rotten här då, kommer inte ha någon chans med min bakhusdrift och mindre effekt, men kul att köra lite i alla fall.
a good uh, pass. I think uh, it's boost leak. It sounds like a boost leak. The little engine there. Open the bonnet here, and I could see it directly where the boost leak is. Silicone hose and the little clamp down there should not be. Maybe it's good to have these uh, hydrofog clamps everywhere. Install that, and I will have some better boost. This little toolbox I bought in Dubai, and uh, yeah, it's very good. Uh, I always have this one; it fits perfectly in there. So. Yeah, you always feel a bit, little bit more safe when you're out um, driving with a car and you can repair most things yourself. I'm going for a ride here in the R8 with Alex here. It'll be very interesting. I was not able to do any more passes, but I was very happy to drive this car in Sweden this summer. And even if I want to do some more upgrades and adjustments, I will keep it as is and focus my time on my Volvo 245er and the Audi R8. The car is still uh, coming in here and I go through the inspection before they come in here. Before they are allowed to go into the track. This one looking really fast. Is that? About the six speed conversion, many people around uh, like 50 people have reached out to me and asking more questions. Many want to have a full list of all parts needed for the six speed and also complete cost of it. But I cannot answer that one because I did not make a complete list and the prices I bought some things second hand and all is not original. You know, the shift knob is not original yet. Maybe it will be in the future. About the parts, best thing I can say is that if you look on the parts list on the manual cars and the e-gear cars, then you can see all the difference. Also for me, this conversion is not uh, meant to look like an original. Uh, that's not so important for me. It's the function that is most important. So I still have the shifter pedals there. I'm using them uh, for other things. And also, you can see here, we have the reverse button on here. I know some people have uh, replaced this panel and removed this and yeah, this column here, they have replaced it for the manual cars. That's the things you have to do if you do a proper conversion to originals back. Also here we have the clutch pedal. It's supposed to be a plate here that is smaller on the manual cars than on the e-gear. I had this on order for, I don't know, two, three years now. It's still on back order from Lamborghini, what I know. So it's not a big deal, but I want to put it there. It's not an expensive one. One thing I can say to get the car starting that I think some have problem with. Uh, this Relay 259 need a signal from the gearbox ECU to be able to run the starter motor later on there. So the easiest thing to do is just to put a jumper on that relay. Yeah, it's a couple of relays here and the one most to the right here you can see it's just a um, jumper. I think I did it a little bit temporary there but uh, so yeah that is the thing you have to do to get the car starting if it's not starting. Also the instrumentation there needs to be programmed to a manual car. And by the way, why I keep these pedals is because hopefully one day I will convert this one maybe back to e-gear or maybe, yeah, maybe I keep the six-speed or, or maybe I put a dual clutch transmission in this one.